Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for another in our series of product reviews. This is the VDAB by VDAB.com. This is where cool meets vape pen. This is the real Senior Stoner. If you enjoy this review, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and send me your comments. Let's discuss. Well, this is about precise dosing. Their pitch is dial a dab. Think about it. Instead of dial a mattress, dial a dab. So let's take a look inside the box. I've already opened the box prior to this video and taken a look at the instructions. You and I are completely overwhelmed, overwhelmed reading these instructions. This is a wonderful thing, but my golly, look at all the things you got to do. Okay, well, guess what? They know that. Boy, it, it does take some people ahead of time thinking like this to make great product. So, on the back of the carton top is the quick start guide. Let's take a look at the quick start guide. So, we have to look at the pieces first. Let's take out the unit and identify the pieces so we know what's happening. First, we have the top. Then we have the plunger, it is called. It is called the plunger. We'll know why shortly. Then we have the chamber. Then we have the sleeve. And then we have the coil. Traditionally, what you would have is you'd have a battery. And you'd put the coil on top of the battery, like this. And you put a mouthpiece on it, and you'd start toking. And that's your vape pen. Wow, right? No. No. This is not the way they did it. Okay? What they're going to do, what they want us to do, basically, is they want us to take this product and put one full gram into this chamber. Load it in. One full gram. And what's going to happen is the gram is going to be plunged down with what is called the plunger. This will adjust. You're dialing it basically like this. The black is a material, okay? You can put food oil, a little bit of oil on it, so it's not going to stick to the material. And then that goes like that. And what you're going to do is when you put your material in, you're going to have the mouthpiece on, mouthpiece on, and you are going to twist the mouthpiece. How cool is that? And that's going to move your dab down. Now, I've never done this before. I've never loaded it before. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill the chamber with product and tamp it down. We're going to max fill at the groove. And we're going to drop the chamber into the sleeve, raise the plunger handle all the way. So we're going all the way, screwing the plunger handle counterclockwise to get it up. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to take my shatter. This is recommended for products like shatter, wax, things that can be uh, molded, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack off a piece of my, my shatter in my hand here. And what they say you need to do is basically roll it. Get it a little bit viscous, just a little bit, and roll it. See how I'm rolling it now? This is the suggested way on their video to put the material into the unit. And it makes some sense because guess what's going to happen? You're now going to get it in there like that. Okay? So you can get it in there like that and push it down with your finger below the surface. It is now down below the surface with just my finger. Check it out. Look at that. It's in already. Okay? The next step is to put the plunger back on, screw in my mouthpiece, and then what you might want to do is unscrew the chamber, make sure you have it coming through. What I mean by that is now as you're going to twist, you want to make sure something's coming through. So let's take a look. We're twisting. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Let's see if I can twist better with my finger like this. Pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. Hasn't exposed yet. Has not exposed itself yet to me. 
Still pushing it down, still pushing it down, still pushing it down. There it is. Can you see it? Can you see the tip of the dab? That's dab. That little dimple is dab. It's through. This is so cool. Wow. So now you put this mouthpiece back on. I've ensured and made sure that the dab material is loaded. It will load one rice kernel size piece at a time with one twist. Ready? Let's turn it on and see if we can take a quick hit. Twist more. Wow. Think about this now, okay? You're going to get a little rat taste. Let's say you get that burn taste. It's natural. It happens with a vape pen with a quail, right? You don't have to open it up and load it again. You turn it like that. And then you go for another hit. Wow. This is solid. What you might want to do occasionally is move it. Because there are air holes. You want to expose the air holes sometimes. But what I'm going to do right now is check on the inside and see what it looks like. Well, the dab material comes off the top like that as you screw it. And it falls into the hot chamber, the hot coil chamber. Genius. So, let's think about something. Will this hold up? Is the strong bait pen? Two things. It's getting a little warm in my hand. More than a little warm. Okay, it's getting hot. Got to be careful about the heat. Secondly, you want to test it for leaks. You want to make sure it's not going to leak. I don't see anything coming out of it. This looks like it's machined stainless steel. And machined stainless steel is strong. It looks like it's going to stay on. Let's see if I need to turn it by opening up the mouthpiece and then using this. There is a angled entry to the mouthpiece, which means that it should grab it and turn it, which I think is happening. Okay. But it seems to me that what you want to do for the turning is you want to give it a couple of turns, not one turn. Because let's take another look. We want to see the dab material. There it comes. Okay, it's come. Whoa, it's down there now. Wow. Okay. We don't want to load anymore. You need to see it. I overloaded it. All right, so don't do what I just did. This is now full. The chamber's full. I might have to replace it. It comes with two extra coil chambers. Um, I might have to. Now, do not do what I did. Don't get impatient with the unit and turn it like I did. I turned it because I was saying to myself, you know what? I'm not getting as much of a hit as I should get hit. But I was. I was impatient. Try not to be impatient. Let me see if I can clean it up a little bit. I put a lot into that. Okay. Now, let's go back and see if with a little bit less in it, I can get it to fire up again. Here we go. This is one hell of a concept. You're going to want to suck on this thing all day long. You are going to want to take hits constantly. Watch the heat. Watch your loading. Watch the amount you load. But double thumbs up, VDAB. This is from VDAB, and they really made something cool here. This is the device that stores one gram, 200 hits for precise 
controlled dosing. The VDAB Dial-A-Dab Vape Pen. Wow. Double thumbs up. Great job, everybody, at VDAB. Everybody just watch the heat. Cheers. Have a great day. And by the way, seniors, you can see that it stands up. Have a great one.